Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to Inglorious Fishing. My name's Danny and as always we're out on the boat so that means we're going turbot fishing today. It's a glorious day, it's a Friday afternoon, it's scorching hot, I've finished work early and I thought what better more thing to do than to go out and go and catch some turbot. It's currently half past three, the gate opened at three o'clock. We're going to be heading to Alderney Sandbanks, Southwest Caskets. We haven't been there for over a year. We're going to go and see if we can get some turbot. We've had some big ones up there before. Less talking, more fishing. Let's start making our way up there. So everyone, we've just arrived up here, and what I'm doing is getting mackerel, and we're in. Getting some bait for up there, for the turbot. You can't beat fresh mackerel. Oh yeah. Two on there. Fantastic, look at that. The mackerel are here today. Now we come up here yesterday, and there was absolutely none. When I say none, I mean none. Right, get them straight back down. My feathers just snapped off. How did that happen? My feathers literally just snapped off. Don't know how that happened. Let's get a new set of feathers on. So we go down for a few more. That reel does not sound good. It doesn't sound good at all. We've got about six mackerel, so it's not bad. All right, that's it. We've got six, that's enough for us. We don't need much more than that. That's the feathers I'm using. Just want to say a big shout out to Andy Lowe who makes these personally by hand. So, shout out to him. I love these purple collars with the green beads. They work absolutely great. Uh, yeah, they're, they're good. Let's head up to the Southwest Caskets. Well everyone, we have arrived at the caskets. Now, this place is absolutely special. I used to come up here when I used to be a trawler man, so I'm hoping that there's gonna be a few flatties here, because I know that it does hold turbot and brill. So, uh, I'm gonna get the rods down, get the mackerel on, give you a run through the baits and the rods a little bit later, and uh, I just wanna get fish and get a rod down. So let's get them down and hopefully we get one of these flatfish. Let's get them. So there's one of the baits I'm gonna be using. Flappered mackerel. Rip the backbone out and then what I've done is I've just cut off the tail and I'll hook the hook through there a nice big flappy mackerel there So the boat's gonna go through stern first, which ain't good I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to change that by turning And then for the second bait guys all I've done is I've just filleted a mackerel one of the fresh mackerels and we've just cut the belly off and the belly side, obviously, the flashing of that should attract the turbot, so... That's the aim, anyway. Let's put it into practice and hopefully we get one of these flatties. Well, I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera, but look at the overfalls. They are immense. I hope we're going to be all right. This boat's a little bit small, so... I don't want the engine getting swamped by the seawater, otherwise I ain't going to be able to get home. It's all about being safe. Let's try and get these turbot. Turbot rods are out and we're in the overfalls! Let's get him! Yes everyone, fish on, finally! Yep, that's a fish. You beauty! Well, I hope it is. I hope it's not seaweed. Oh no, is that other one going? They're all kicking off. Don't feel massive. Definitely feels like a fish though. Finally good to get a little flatty. We're right in the overfalls here. Come on, be a flatty. 
Oh. He's trying to keep constant pressure on it. Now the overfalls here are immense. Come on. Please be a flatty. Doesn't feel a giant. If it is a flat, it could be seaweed. Should be seeing the colour of his eye soon if it is a turbot. It ain't. It's a flipping dogfish caught up. The other rod's going though. That looks like a flatty. I've got a dogfish on one rod and this rod was just going up. Fish on. Yeah, we've got another fish on. Probably a dogfish. Double walk up right there. Probably a dogfish. Oh, that's no dogfish. No. I didn't think that last one was a dogfish. That's probably a dogfish. Probably a dogfish. Quite weighty for a dogfish. Oh, that's no dogfish. This ain't no dogfish. This is a turbot. This is a flatty for sure. Yeah, look at that bend. That is no dogfish. Look at the bend in the rod. That's no dogfish. It's on the mackerel flapper. Uh, sorry, mackerel fillet. Yeah, this feels flatty. Turbo Werbos, look at the bend. This feels better. This feels a lot better. Hopefully it's not weed or a dogfish wrapped up. I've got to at least see it. Oh, he's fighting now. I reckon it's a flatty. It's a nice flatty, guys. It's a nice flatty. That's the ones we want. Aye, aye. That's a big one. That's about an eight pound turbot, that guys. Eight to 10 pound turbot. Look at the size of that thing. Woo! Look at the size of that. Absolutely annihilated it. That is what you call a turbot. Look at the slab, look at the size of it. That's a seven, eight pound turbot. All day long, guys, you beauty. Came up to the casket and we've got what we come up for. You look at that. Fantastic, I'm over the moon. This is one of the best turbots I've had in a long time. You beauty, what a lovely fish that is. Look at the mouth on it. Big mouth, look at that. What a flatty. Yes, well happy. Let's get some more mackerel baits on and let's go for another drift. Let's get some more. Well, everyone, there's that dogfish. Not the turbot, but hey, one nice turbot, one nice dogfish on the same drift. Let's go up for another and hopefully we'll get some more.
Fish on everyone, fish on. I don't know if it's a dogfish or a turbot. Probably a dogfish now in my lot. It don't feel like a turbot. It's a dogfish. I don't know. Oh, I've caught my other line. 100% I've caught my other line. That's just gone slack as anything. That dogfish has caught it and ruined that drift. Well, would you add them and eat it? Well, what's happened? I had two dogfish on there. There's one. Two dogfish. No good, that ain't what we want. Let's get a bait back down, get a turbot. Hi everyone, fish on. Oh yeah. This has got to be another turbot. Come on. Just seen the rod going a little bit, so I gave it a little bit of line, reeled into it. It might be a dogfish. Never know, it might be a dogfish. Or a cottlefish. Let's wait there. Dogfish or a cottlefish. I reckon. Yeah, not much weight to it now. Hide a slack and right off here. Not right off, but it's not as strong as what it was. Bit of seaweed or something though, my lot. It's a dogfish. Just my luck. Yeah, it didn't feel like a turbot. Dogfish. The only problem with sandbank and for turbot, you're renowned to get a dogfish at least once or twice. Sometimes that's all you get. And I'll get my bait back. Look, straight out his gob. Fantastic, right. We still got the other rod down. Hopefully we can get you a few more. So everyone, I'll just give you a run through of the setup and the rods that I'm using. The rods I'm using are Ugly Stick GX2s, they're a 20 to 30 pound class rod. And then I've got a Pen Fathom 220 on, level wind, and it's loaded with 40 pound mono on. And then we've got an 8 inch boom with an 8 ounce weight. And then what I've got is a swivel with about a 6 inch bit of trace to another swivel. And then about a 5 to 6 foot trace on top of that to a 6 o hook which is cox and roll meat hook and then we've just got a fillet of sand eel on a fillet of mackerel on and that is a killer killer turbot bait so i've already got one round down we're going to get the other down we've already had that one i'm open for another one it's calm right down here now so the tide has slackened off which normally means that the turbot will die off but i'm hoping that they're not and that we're still going to be able to get some so uh, let's see what we can do for you so everyone i just thought i'd give you a show of where we are that island that you can see down there, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but down there is Guernsey. Those two little islands over there, that's Herman Jetu. Over there is Sark. Right, right, right up there is Alderney. And to the side of Alderney, you might just be able to get it. 
is France. You can see the outline of France. Up there, those rocks up there are called the caskets. Um, very dangerous place up there. You want to be very careful if you're going up around there. Lots of rocks, lots of tidal currents and overfall. So you just want to watch yourself. We've had a few dogfish, few sand eels. We've had that nice turbot. Let's see if we can get another. The tide's going the other way now. Let's see if we can get them. Well, everyone, we just had something pick this rod up and absolutely went with it. And I reckon it was a tope. Oh, we still got the bait. How did we still have that? Something grabbed that and started ripping line. I thought it was a tope. Right, what I've done is, is we've caught some sand eels. So some nice big green launces. And uh, that's them there. Now what I do is, oh, sorry about that, nearly fell over. What I do is, I cut the backbone out and flap her and right up. And that is a prime, prime turbot bait, that. Any turbot sees that flapping in front of its eyes, it ain't gonna be able to resist that. So we're gonna go up for another drift. It's currently eight o'clock in the evening. We've probably got one or two more drifts and we're gonna have to start making our way home. Let's get them. Well, everybody, it's currently quarter to nine in the evening and we've had no more turbot as such yet. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got one here. I thought I had one then. I really did. I thought I had one on then. Okay, we'll bring you back if we do get any though. Like I say, this will be the last drift as I need to start making my way home and the gate shuts in about 55 minutes. So by the time the drift is finished, we need to make sure we can get home. Well, everyone, let's just bring the rod up. We're going to start making our way in. Oh, a bit of weight here. I'm thinking it's going to be a dogfish. More than likely a dogfish. Definitely don't feel like a turbot. Or a cuttlefish. I'll go dogfish though. Oh, no, it's just come off. Whatever it was, just let go. Might have been a cuttlefish. Yeah, whatever it was, it just let go. Oh well, that's it, everyone. Unfortunately, no more turbot. But when you catch a slab like that, it don't really matter. It really, uh, really gets your buzz going. It certainly does. So uh, we're going to start making our way in. As I say, look at that. You cannot beat that for a turbot. Look at that thing. It is magnificent. Look at a big mouth on it. Giant, giant mouth just sucks up its prey. It's like a big hoover. Fantastic. Right, we're going to leave Alderney and start making our way back to Guernsey. Let's go. Made it safely back to port all the way from Alderney. 
That was a nice 13 mile steam from where my marina is. So it's fantastic, absolute beautiful day. You couldn't have asked for a better day. Flat calm, like a mirror. At the start it was a bit lumpy, but yeah, what a fabulous evening. And to top it off, we got a lovely turbot like that. What a beautiful, beautiful fish, guys. There's the back side of it. What a slab that is. Absolutely happy with that. That's what we went up for. I really hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed being up there fishing. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It costs nothing. And that way you never miss any of these fishing adventures. And I hope you enjoyed it. And next time, tomorrow, we're after these again. Let's go get them. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.